welcome back to my channel. My name is Chikako. I'm a full time illustrator living in Vancouver, Canada. On this channel, I share my art journey, inspiration, and art business tips. If you're watching my video for the first time, nice to meet you. Let me ask you a question first. Have you ever tried gouache? In this video, I will show you some pieces of my artwork, and after that, I will also show you my process of playing with gouache. It's really fun art materials, and I hope I could inspire you to try. Let's go! This artwork is from a Japanese garden in Victoria, Canada. While I was making this, I realized that my drawing style is very influenced by Ghibli movies. So, I challenged myself to try some backgrounds from Ghibli movies using gouache for practice. If you haven't watched any, Ghibli movies are very well known animated movies in Japan made by Hayao Miyazaki. I wonder if you can recognize which movies are referenced. This one is from Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. This is her basement. I like the texture from old brushes. I really recommend keeping old brushes as they are very unique shape. For example, this artwork is a house that I found in Stanley Park in Vancouver. The grass was made with old brushes too. Now I realize that I use a lot of yellow in my artwork. I need a new one soon. Okay, the next one is from Princess Mononoke. I love deep forest green. One day, I want to go to Yakushima, which was a reference for that movie. Here is a castle in the sky. This is my favorite movie. This creature like Pikachu appears as a pet of Nausicaa too. I was scared of this machine when I was very small. This one is from Kiki's Delivery Service. There was an artist living in the cabin, and this is her art studio. It is a cool concept to live in a small cabin and drawing all day long. This one is from Porco Rosso. The castle wasn't pink, but I just improvised it. Even when I try to draw closer to the original image, I can't follow it completely as I start to have my own ideas. What about you? This one is from House Moving Castle. Oh my goodness, this is much scarier than the original. But I kind of like it somehow. Next is Whisper of the Heart. This one is a very heartwarming story. I think my first love was the boy in this movie. This one is Ariete's room. It has a contrast issue that I was working on, and I didn't know how to improve it in the end. Through this activity, I realized that drawing exactly like reference gives me uncomfortable compositions and angles that I don't usually use. Next is from Spirited Away. Musically, this is my favorite. I enjoy drawing this part, the door made of stained glass. Another inspiration from Princess Mononoke, the bare mountain starting to grow trees and plants. I recently visited a place called Saskatoon and saw a rainbow, so I wanted to keep this as a memory. If you like the content so far, your like button helped me tremendously. Now, I want to show you my process of Totoro's artwork. First of all, you need a thick sketchbook paper because you use water. I'm using the same paper for watercolor. Next is gouache. 
I don't have a lot of colors as I find it a bit expensive at the art supply store. I also enjoy limited color combination. I find it interesting that gouache can be like watercolor when you add water, but at the same time, it can be like acrylic if you don't use much water. For making the clear edges, also I'm using the masking tape for watercolors. I use a ceramic plate, I find it easy to wash and it doesn't leave stains. I find it at a thrift shop and thought it was perfect for my painting. When gouache dries, it hurts to mix colors so I have this small spray, helps to keep them wet. It sounds like a bit snobbish, but I thought I wouldn't enjoy copying something to draw like fun art. As an artist, I wanted to create something original from me. But throughout this activity, I found many benefit in copying someone's artwork as a practice. I could challenge myself with things I wouldn't normally choose, like composition, colors, or techniques. I feel I have technically improved through this activity. Also, painting your favorite movie is like communicating with your childhood. I used to watch Totoro when I was a child. In Japan, there was a Friday night show on TV starting at 9 p.m. that often shows Ghibli's movie. I stayed up until 11 p.m. and watched with excitement at my parents' home. So, Ghibli movies are tied with nostalgia for me. Totoro, 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 Totoro. <laughs> I can't help but sing the song of Totoro. While I paint, I explain three things that I like about gouache. Unlike some other mediums, gouache can be adjusted even after it has dried making it more forgiving and easier to correct mistakes. And the matte finish of gouache painting looks so beautiful and smooth. Also gouache allow for effective layering without lifting the colors underneath, offering depth and details. All right, let's finish up. I hope this video inspires you. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. My video will come out every Thursday. If you like the contents, please subscribe the channel so that I can share more inspiration with you. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!